This tutorial shows you how to assemble, install, and calibrate a Huion Canvas GT191. This is a tablet with a display you draw directly on. The tablet itself is about 18 and a half by 12 inches, so the box it comes in is fairly big and a little bit heavy, so be careful when unpacking. Inside the foam insert, you will find a box of parts, HDMI and VGA cables, a pen box or two, the support stand for the tablet, installation guide and CD, and the monitor itself packed inside an anti-static bag. The monitor comes with a screen protector on the front of it. It's easy to remove, but you should keep it on to avoid damaging the screen while installing the tablet. Leaving the protector on when you're drawing also prevents the pen from scratching the glass. If you don't like the Huion provided protector, there are a couple companies that sell more secure, thinner protectors. There's a lot inside the box of parts, but it's pretty simple. On the top might be a gift of a smudge guard glove to use while you're drawing. A special cloth for cleaning the tablet screen, which by the way, don't use chemicals to clean your tablet screen. Only ever use a microfiber cloth like this and water. Next inside the box is a cord for charging your tablet pen. The USB cable for the tablet. The stand for the pen with extra pen tips inside so you can replace the pen tip when it starts to wear down. The tablet's power cable and screws and a screwdriver for installing the stand. To install the stand, put the screen protector on the tablet if you took it off earlier and then flip the monitor over. If you have a large microfiber cloth to put the monitor on, that would be the best, but otherwise use a flat surface. Unfold the tablet stand by pulling on the silver handle at its base and moving the arm at the same time. The four holes in the stand align with the four holes in the tablet, like so, with the arm at the bottom of the tablet. The bottom two holes are kind of tricky to reach. The stand can't be extended all the way or you won't be able to put the screws into those bottom holes. Adjust the stand and fit all four screws into the stand holes. Place the stand with the screws in it onto the back of the tablet. Screw the top two screws in first and then slide the stand back and screw the bottom two screws in. Flip the tablet over and now you have an adjustable stand. Next, insert the cables into the back of the tablet. You can do this at the tablet in its upright position, but I have it face down here so you can see. First, you have your choice between a blue VGA cable and an HDMI cable. Choose the HDMI cable unless you have an old computer that doesn't have HDMI ports. Connect the power supply to the cord and then plug the cord into the back of the computer. The end of this plugs into an electrical outlet, but I recommend plugging this and all computer equipment in general into an outlet bar, aka surge protector, and not directly into the wall. Last is the USB cable. Plug the loose ends into your computer, and now you're ready to install the drivers for the tablet. Don't use the CD from the box. Instead, go to huian.com. Under download, choose driver. Look for the GT191 under Pen Displays and download the most recent driver for Windows or Mac. You can also find the tablet manual under Instruction. Go to your download, right-click on the file, and choose Extract All. Click Extract. Now you'll see a regular-looking folder. Double-click on that, and then double-click on the installer. Say yes to everything, next, next, next. Now that should go through and be done, but if you have a different tablet installed, you need to uninstall that tablet first. And for computer savvy people, you can copy your WinTab32 file out of System32 to a backup area, and then delete the WinTab32 file out of System32, continue with Huion's installation. And if you do it that way, you can save and swap out the different WinTab32 files, depending on which tablet you feel like using. Once the drivers finish installing, restart your computer. And now it's time to calibrate the tablet settings. To run the Huion software on Windows, you need to right-click the desktop icon and choose Run as Administrator. After that, go to Stylus Pen. On your tablet screen, click Start Pressure Test and draw in the square underneath to preview the pressure sensitivity. Drag the slider above to change your settings. You can always come back here and change it if you don't like how it's working. You can also set the actions for the two pen buttons. I recommend undo for the second pen button, and it's usually control Z. If you ever have trouble while drawing with your tablet, you can try unchecking the enable Windows ink box here. Next up, if you don't like where your pen cursor is relative to where you're holding your pen, go to work area and click monitor calibration. 
click on the dots to calibrate your pen to the monitor. The GT191 is picky, so you might need to try this more than once. That's all for the tablet settings. The last thing to do is calibrate the tablet monitor. Along the bottom of your physical tablet, you'll see a row of buttons. Press the menu button to open the screen settings. Press the menu button again to go into a screen setting. Press the plus or minus button to change a value. And press the auto button to back out of a setting. From the main menu with nothing selected, you can press the plus or minus buttons to change tabs. Go to this tab if you mess something up and want to reset all of the settings to the defaults. I find the colors on the tablet aren't as vibrant as they are on a monitor, and there's really not much you can do about that. For the best looking screen, I suggest leaving everything default except for the brightness. Turn the brightness down a bit. That's it! Your tablet should be ready to go now. Remember to charge your pen once in a while and have fun drawing! <laughs>